Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this tutorial, we will discuss pulse triggered execution of operations in the Mitsubishi PLCs. For example, this is LDP load pulse. It loads on the rising edge of the device signal. It turns on the output on the rising edge of the input signal. What is the rising edge? When we turn a switch from its on state to the off state. When we turn a switch from the off state to the on state, it is called the rising edge. And when, a, when we turn a switch from the on state to the off state, it is called falling edge or falling pulse. So this is the symbol and in logics gx developer sf shift f7 is the key for this function if you want to use it this will have this kind of rising edge and other one is the falling pulse ldf loading falling pulse loads on the falling edge of the device signal it has this kind of symbol and its short key is this on the gx developer in the similar way we will test all these how they will work first of all we will test the first two that is the ldp and ldf we will go to the gx developer here we have an input x2 and a counter c0 k10 when we turn this switch on this counter will be incremented on mean when we turn it from the 0 to 1 the counter will be incremented and we turn when we turn this switch from 1 to 0 on the falling edge when we turn this switch from the state of 1 to 0 that is the falling edge it will turn this counter it will increment this counter so first of all we will convert this program it is already converted and write to plc yes So this program is now loaded in the PLC. We will check it in the monitor mode. This is the monitor mode. It is already turned on X2. We will put it turn off. It is now in the state of 0. When we press it to the state 1, it will increment the count to C0. It have incremented the count to 2. Again, when we turn it off and we turn the state from 0 to 1, it will be incremented. In the similar way, the second one is the falling pulse it will increment the counter when we turn the state of the input switch from 1 to 0 when we turn it state from 1 to 0 that is it means that we turn off the switch i have turned it off it has been incremented by 1 i will turn it again it is now on and i will turn it off mean that i will turn its switch from the position of 0 to 1 it will be incremented these are the first two functions I will discuss the last two functions. These are the last two functions. The, after that, we will discuss the these two functions and P and and F. This is or P or pulse logical or operation on the rising edge of the device signal. And or F or F is the falling pulse logical or operation on the falling edge of the device signal. This is its symbol and the short key and the GX developer symbol is here. We will test it again how it works. For example, this is this PLC is in the monitor mode. I will turn it to the right mode. It is now in the right mode. I will take this rising pulse open branch, which is the symbol of this or P. When I click here and add x5 it will make an or operation or operation with this x4 look at this it has made an or operation with this x4 now convert it online right to plc execute yes 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 now it is in the OR condition, OR operation. When X4 is turned on, a signal, these are both the rising pulses. This is also a rising pulse, this is also a rising pulse. When you click on it from 0 to 1, it will transfer a signal. When we click on this one, it will again transfer a signal. For example, X4, I turn X4 to state. We will first of all go to the monitor mode to observe it. I have turned X4. It has incremented the counter. Now turn X4 to the state of 1. It has incremented it. Now turn X5 to the state of 1. It has also incremented. When you turn both the X4 and X5, they will increment the counter two times. So this is the function of this or P operation. The similar function is the or F or falling 
पल्स ऑपरेशन दिस इज फॉलिंग पल्स लॉजिकल और ऑपरेशन ऑन द फॉलिंग एज ऑफ द डिवाइस सिग्नल यू कैन यूज दिस इन द सिमिलर मोड एन यू क्लिक ऑन इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो टू द राइट मोड वैन यू क्लिक ऑन दिस फॉलिंग एज एंड क्लिक एक्स फाइव वी नीट वी नीड टू मेक ए इन अदर ऑपरेशन हेयर विद द फॉलिंग एज एक्स सिक्स एन आउटपुट दैट इज सी थ्री स्पेस के टेन एंड हेयर वी विल यूज दिस फॉलिंग पल्स ओपन ब्रांच ऑपरेशन एंड यू क्लिक ऑन इट एक्स सेवन You can see that is it has made the OR operation with X six, so they will function in the similar way. Convert online, write to PLC, execute yes. You will check it in the monitor mode. It will operate in the similar way, but on the falling edge of this signal. X six, for example, I will turn X six to off. It will increment it. When I turn X seven to off state, it will increment it again, and in the similar fashion, it will be operated. The last one, which is the here, this is the last one. And P and and F. and pulse logical and operation on the rising edge of the device signal and falling pulse logical and operation on the falling edge of the device signal this is again works in the similar way is the you can check it out here like this for example this is if it is x1 and when we check it out here with the x2 this kind of operation it operates convert online write to plc it will perform this kind of operation when both the rising pulses are in the or connection uh, are in the end connection these both inputs are in the series connection or the end connection when both the inputs are turned on out output will be on when one of the inputs are off the output will be off it is quite necessary to turn both the inputs at the same time turn both the inputs on when you don't even have a millisecond difference it will not glow the output the output will be not turned on so you need to check it very carefully and the manual operation cannot turn on the output you need to turn on these two inputs with the automated operation when both the signals are provided to the inputs with a similar with the similar time span it will turn the output on so this is the kind of operation which will be performed by the this signal logical or operation in in the similar way in the logical and operation with the rising pulse you can also do the similar operation in the opposite form this is with the rising pulse and you can also make it with the falling pulse for example this x3 and take it from here and it is x 4 so this is again the similar operation but with the falling pulse here you also need to match the both inputs with the falling pulse if one of the input is missing the output will not be turned on even though for example in the first case i turn on both the inputs you can see that both the inputs turned on x1 and x2 in the similar way 
but it has not incremented the counter because it is i am doing it manually and by manual operation it cannot be turned on it will be turned on only by the machine operation or the automated operation this is the operation that is performed by the these signals so this is very important to understand this is rising pulse this is falling pulse rising pulse and operation rising falling pulse with the end operation rising pulse with the or operation falling pulse with the falling pulse with the or operation thank you so much for watching this video